You can feel it in the air this time of year, the first breaths of winter. While that sends some of us looking for sweaters and dreading the dark months indoors, for others, it's the start of the most beautiful season. Eddie Hunter is that kind of person. He's been skiing his whole life, and his passion is as strong as ever. Bill McFarlane has his story. The wind can be blowing in my face really hard, and I feel it's always at my back. It's a Canadian gift. It's still falling as rain, but look up 100 meters and you can see the beginnings of winter. Welcome back. Practically snow out there. Since 1948, it was a single chair at that time. Once a year, Eddie Hunter has lived some version of this day. Can you make me look good on that uh, new path? Now nearly 92, each year, each turn becomes more precious than the last. And the older I get, the more uh, spiritual it becomes to me, I guess. Hunter moved to Banff when he was eight years old and soon fell in love with the slopes of Mount Norquay, riding the lifts dozens of times every year since. Eddie is obviously an inspiration, an inspiration to us all and, and even our staff. Uh, I mean, uh, we, we all know Eddie and, and we love to see him out on the slopes. You just can't help it, but when you see fresh snow powder and that, and you, and you, you sort of feel it's a romance. That romance gives back. Like many, the mountains change him for the better. When I'm driving, I'm too critical, you know, of other people. Uh, I'm not critical of people on, on the mountain. After a lifetime of working in television and film, Hunter now lives in a retirement home. I take it month at a time. So many decades after he first discovered the mountains, his eyes are still bright in anticipation of winter. But I love it. It'll have, if it'll have me for another year, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Believe it. Bill McFarlane, CTV News, Banff. Fantastic. Mount Norquay is planning to open the first week of November if winter cooperates.